For being such an amazing round, the 40 Smith & Wesson gets really a lot of hate, and I am certain to know why. It's because you're all looking at it wrong. Maybe not all of you, but most of you, because anytime I see any sort of hate on the 40 Smith & Wesson, it's usually because they're comparing it to something like a 9mm. They'll shoot a certain gun that shoots a 9mm out of it, and then they'll shoot the 40 Smith & Wesson and think, boy, I don't like that nearly as much as I like the 9mm. And I get it. Totally get it. But the problem is, is you're comparing it to the 9mm. Because there's another caliber that hits a lot harder than a 40 Smith & Wesson that is growing and growing and growing uh, in incredible degrees is the 10 millimeter. And people love the 10 millimeter because they're looking at the 10 millimeter for what it is. It's a 10 millimeter. I mean, if you have a 10 millimeter handgun, you can kill anything that walks in North America with that thing. It's a great round. So people will carry a gun shooting a 10 millimeter thinking to themselves, you know, well, this makes sense to me. But the problem is, is that a 40 Smith & Wesson is really just a 10 millimeter short. It, it is. That's pretty much what it is. So if you were to compare a 40 Smith & Wesson to a 10 millimeter, I think you'd look at it very differently. Very, very differently. Um, because that's really a better comparison more so the benefit that you're going to get out of the 40 smith and wesson compared to the 10 millimeter is most people that make the popular lines of nine millimeter handguns also make them in 40 smith and wesson they don't necessarily also make them in 10 millimeters so it's really if you like the 10 millimeter i'm going to recommend you start to look at the 40 smith and wesson in a very different way because it is a very different bullet. It's a very carryable 10 millimeter, so to say, because, you know, most 10 millimeter handguns, they're not necessarily very carryable. Definitely not as carryable as a lot of the nine millimeters out there. And that's really kind of my point, is there's a lot of 40 Smith & Wessons carryable like those nine millimeters. Uh, and if you look at the 40 Smith & Wesson like a 10 millimeter, it suddenly becomes extremely carryable a great option and i believe that's really why there's a lot of hate on it is because people are like well it's not nearly as smooth as shooting as a nine millimeter no it's not but it's definitely a little smoother than a 10 millimeter and you can get it in way more carryable options and i think as soon as you look at it like it's a 10 millimeter short now what does this particular caliber have to offer me um i think you're going to see it has the opportunity to offer you a wealth a wealth of carrying options that's gonna pack a big punch. There's a reason why a lot of cops around this country carry a 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, it's a pretty powerful round. Uh, it's a great round. It's a 10 millimeter short and a 10 millimeter take down any animal in North America. 40 Smith & Wesson's not that far behind it. So uh, there you go, man. That's my thoughts. I think a lot of the hate that goes towards the 40 Smith & Wesson is really just an, a, an illogical comparison. And you have to really compare it to what it actually is. Um, it's a comparison with the 10 millimeter is a better comparison and you have a lot more carryable options. So um, love to know your thoughts on that. Um, you know, I'm not asking you to love a 40 Smith & Wesson, maybe nine millimeters for you, maybe a 10s for you. I'm just saying, I think if you look at it as a 10 millimeter short that has a lot of carrying options, like a nine millimeter, pretty fantastic option. Any thoughts or insight on any of that? Definitely put it below. Do you want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel, not subscribers? Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.